hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Karen guys today I'm cooking Senegalese jerov rice yes I'm gonna try to harvest most of my ingredients from the garden is a challenge that rice takes a lot of stuff you have to put a lot in there so I'm gonna challenge myself to try to get as much as I can from my garden I've already I have my onions and I'm harvesting tomatoes now yes keep watching guys guys i've already harvested my tomato i'm at the other side of the garden right now i'm gonna harvest some bear pepper guys i'm done harvesting it's a challenge that rice takes so much ingredients but i think i made it let me show you guys my ingredients cabbage green pepper um eggplant carrot bear peppers different type of peppers different type of eggplant green onions parsley thyme regular onions different type of um, um peppers everything it's just a lot guys i think i made it you guys can see my basket is full it's full of all kinds of stuff guys so let's go cook keep watching guys i'm back in the house i want to show you guys the rest of my ingredients it's a little bit dark in here let me try to put on some light i have my i have cassava we need to put cassava i need okra tomato paste the protein i'm using they cook it but with fresh fish so i have my croaker right here i have all my dry ingredients here then i have my rice they cook it with broken jasmine rice but i i don't know for some reason when i eat jasmine rice it makes me sick so i don't eat it i try to avoid it yes these are some of our ingredients oils all the seasoning it takes a lot of ingredients guys a lot so let's start preparing our ingredients
my legs are doing so great this year they are so big i mean what am i saying my green onions Last year my leg were the big one. This year this is my leg. Not that big. To make the spices for my fish it takes a lot of parsley yep. seven leaks um, I have green onions garlic I'm gonna put ginger not too much ginger I want to add like onions in there. Um, no, um, then I add green bell pepper in here too. Chop it roughly. Guys, I'm going to season my fish, but I'm going to make some holes so I can put those uh, spices in there. Make some holes. I'm now going to take my spices. I forgot to tell you guys I add salt and um, salt and some um, seasoning in there. Spices, guys. I'm trying to put the spices inside those holes that I make. This little pocket I create, yeah, put your spices to fit it. I'm gonna let my fish sit a little bit, then we'll start to fry it. While my fish is marinating, I'm just gonna. Start preparing my other ingredients here. Yeah. So all my garden eggs. I have three different kind of uh, eggplant in here that I'm gonna put in. Guys, I do not only have um I think I have I have different 
this is another eggplant I like garden eggs so I have different stuff in here a lot just from my garden guys can you believe it all this stuff in here I grew them myself wow guys it's a lot it's a lot different kinds of pepper I think I have four different type of pepper this one this one this one and this all from the garden woohoo guys it's pouring out there for my cabbage I'm just gonna cut them big guys not a beautiful cabbage look how pretty that cabbage is Big chunks like that. I'm also preparing my tomato. I'm just gonna blend it in. The tomato is not much. These are my first harvest for my tomatoes. Yeah, I've tried to remove all the liquid in there. Add this my red peppers in here in my tomato and blend it together. Okay, so I'll start to fry my fish. I'll add oil in my pot. This thing takes oil. Yeah. I'll now add my fish. After my fish is cooked one side, I'll not flip it the other side. I'm not I don't want to completely fry the fish. We just fry halfway before we're still gonna cook it. Yeah. I'll take my fish out. You have to cut your fish very big. Yeah. After I take my fish out, I will just add my onions. Fry it a little bit. I have my thyme right here. I'll add it inside my my onions. <laughs> that's not thyme. That's curry powder. I'm, I'm also gonna add my fresh thyme in here. I supposed to add um, fermented fish, mem and a memoni. They call whatever they call the fish. But I don't, I can't access that fish, so I'm just going to cook mine like that. After I add my curry, I'm just going to add my tomato paste. I'm going to fry this tomato paste until completely cooked. My tomato half, you see, it fry until it starts to get like dark, dark, dark red. Right now, I'm just going to add my fresh blend tomato right here.
guys this take time this try take time to cook it's not something you rush you have to give yourself time to cook this food take your time i'm gonna let my tomato cook in here guys my fresh tomato has completely cooked and you see no liquid right now i'm just gonna add um i have my black pepper i'm gonna add it in here the remaining spices that we use to season the fish i'm gonna add it in here Just let that cook a little bit. Guys, now I'll add my seasoning in here. I'll also add salt, careful. Then I'll add water. add my water now we'll start to add our mm, I'm testing my soil if everything is okay we we'll start to add our vegetable I'll start adding my cassava my carrots My eggplants a lot of my different type of peppers my cabbage This is a very rich jerov rice, guys. I'm gonna cook those things a little bit before I could add my okra because okra cooks fast. Yes. Then I'm also gonna add my fish. Just put my fish on top so I can easily access the fish. Just like that. We're gonna now cover our pot to cook. Guys, my pot has steamed a little bit. I'll now add my okra. Guys, my pot has been, my food has been cooking. See, my pot has been. I'm going to now take my fish. I'll take it out, but I'll continue cooking the rest of the stuff. This is very tricky. I don't want my fish to just scatter. Oh, my goodness. Guys, will not take the remaining stuff out. You gotta be careful with them because they are tender. Mm. 
Guys, I also want to be adding some sauce on top of my vegetable that I took out. Yeah, I'm going to add some sauce on top of that. And then now we'll add our rice in here. I've washed this rice. <laughs> I've washed and kept it. It's so dry. This food is not something you roll. It takes time to cook it, guys. Yeah, it takes time. It's a special food. This is their real special food. Yeah. I think they call it, is it Thai Bujin? I think that's how they call it, oh. Or Benichin, something like that. Mes frères et mes soeurs de Senegal, il faut me pardonner si j'ai mal prononcé le nom. Yes, you guys should forgive me if I pronounce it wrongly. <laughs> Your sister from Cameroon is trying to. <laughs> uh, I live in Ohio. When I used to live in Maryland, I would meet people that speak French a lot. Now I live in Ohio. I don't see people that speak French. Very soon I'll start to forget my French. I'll add a little bit of water, enough water that I know will cook my rice. Yeah. Mix. Ooh, I think I have one um eggplant in here. The sauce for this rice is very thick, so you have to cook this rice on low. If not, you're going to damage the rice. You can put parchment paper, aluminum foil, plastic wrap, any one that you have. You cover it and then we're going to cook this rice on low, guys. Because the sauce is very thick. So if you put it on high, you're going to burn it. Yeah. Let's check our rice. Oops. Mm. Let me watch that into my food. Oof. It's cooked. It's been raining outside. It's a little bit dark out there. I hope you guys can see. <laughs> Trying to mix my rice. I normally turn my jar of oil like with fork. So I don't like break them. But this particular food is cooked with broken rice anyway. <laughs> yeah. So my rice is completely cooked. Mmm, guys, delicious. <laughs> my goodness. Mmm. I'm gonna turn off my stove and they will dish the rice. Oh my goodness. This is the king of um giraffe rice, guys. This rice beat all the jaw rice out there. <laughs> it 
it's not a challenge show guys it's my own opinion yep it's a lot of work it takes time to cook it it's not something you rush no take step upon steps different steps do this season this grind this it's a lot but i'm so proud of myself that i can cook it not only cook it but the ingredients 90 percent of the ingredients came from my garden guys ah <laughs> uh, yes 90 percent of my ingredients came from the garden yeah that's how special this food is today yes I do not have a very big tree to put all this. Yep. That's my cabbage. Have my cassava. Oof. Some of my carrots. Have my eggplant. It's rich, guys. Special, special food from Senegal. Very rich. I have two bowls here because it could not fit in one bowl. All this um, vegetable. Guys, <laughs> look how delicious that food looks. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys! Mmm, mmm, mmm! Look at that food. Look at that rice, guys. Guys, let me show you guys that 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 food close. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Senegalese jollof rice from the garden. Yes, guys, from the garden. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful guys, yummy, delish. Yes, guys, we have come to the end of our video. Thank you guys for spending some time with me. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're new here, welcome to Karin's Garden. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you for keep watching, for keep coming back. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Guys, <laughs> I can't wait. Ooh. You have to eat it with your hands. They eat it with their hands. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Guys, it's very delicious. Mm.